welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to look at balanced equation calculations. These calculations come up in Unit 1 and Unit 2 of National 5 Chemistry. There is more than one way to tackle a balanced equation calculation. This method will show you how to do it using proportion. I have another video on my channel which uses the mole method. Balanced equation calculations always involve calculating the mass of either a reactant or product from the given mass of another reactant or product in the equation. The first step is always to identify the two chemicals which you are using in the calculation. We do this by reading the question carefully and then circling the chemicals in the balanced equation. You can then score out any other chemicals. Step two is to calculate the gram formula mass for the two chemicals present. If you're unsure how to do this, look in the description box below there will be links to videos to help you with calculating gram formula mass. Once you've calculated gram formula mass, you can now use the balanced equation to identify the mole ratio. In this case, one mole of propane produces three moles of carbon dioxide. We can now use this with the gram formula mass to allow us to work out through proportion the mass of carbon dioxide which will be produced. We do this by multiplying the moles from the balanced equation by the gram formula mass. So if we have 44 grams of propane, we will produce 3 times 44 grams of carbon dioxide. In this example, we don't have 44 grams of propane. Instead, we have 4.4, which we can see is 10 times less than one mole of propane. So we can divide both sides by 10 to find the, number, the mass of carbon dioxide which, we, which will be produced. In this second example, we are looking at what mass of reactant is required to produce a certain mass of product. Again, for step one, we circle the two chemicals that we're interested in and score out everything else. We then calculate the gram formula mass for each of those chemicals. Using the balanced equation, you can find the mole ratio for the two chemicals. Two moles of oxygen will produce two moles of water. This is a one-to-one -one mole ratio. This means that we'll get two times 32 grams of oxygen, producing two times 18 grams of water. From the question, we can see that we had 18 grams of water being produced. To allow us to do this by proportion, we are going to divide each side by 36, the mass of the water, using the full moles, to get down to 1 gram of water. This will then tell us what mass of oxygen would be required to produce 1 gram of water. We can then multiply back up by 18 on both sides to find what mass of oxygen would be required to produce 18 grams of water. Pause the video now and try this example. In this example, we're looking for the mass of water that would be produced when 23 grams of ethanol is burned. We circle the ethanol and the water in the equation and score out the oxygen and the carbon dioxide. We then go on to calculate the gram formula mass of each of the chemicals. Use the balanced equation to identify the mole ratio. One mole of ethanol will produce three moles of water. This means that 46 grams of ethanol will produce three times 18 grams of water. However, in the question, we don't have 46 grams of ethanol. We have 23 grams of ethanol. So we need to divide by 46 on both sides to get down to one gram of ethanol. This will then tell you how much water would be produced for one gram of ethanol. Multiplying back up to 23 will then give you your final answer for the mass of water produced when 23 grams of ethanol is burned.
Pause the video now and try this example. In this example, we are focusing only on the reactants, magnesium and oxygen. We can then calculate the gram formula mass for each of these. Using the balanced equation, we can identify the mole ratio. Two moles of magnesium requires one mole of oxygen to burn completely. This means that 49 grams of magnesium will require 32 grams of oxygen to burn completely. From the question, we can see that we only have 4.9 grams of magnesium. Therefore, we need to divide both sides by 49 to find out how much oxygen is required for one gram of magnesium and then we can multiply by 4.9 to find out how much oxygen is required for this example. Pause the video now and try this final example. In this example, we're trying to calculate the mass of oxygen needed to burn 560 grams of ethene. So again, we're only looking at the reactants. We need to calculate the gram formula mass for both of the reactants. Using the balanced equation, we can see that one mole of ethene requires three moles of oxygen to burn completely. This means that 28 grams of ethene requires 3 times 32 grams of oxygen to burn completely. In the question, we have 560 grams of ethene. So we're going to divide by 28 to find out how much oxygen is needed for 1 gram of ethene and then multiply back up by 560 on both sides to find out the mass of oxygen required for the ethene to burn. Thank you for watching my video. I hope that you found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams Chem and Instagram Miss Adams Chemistry for regular updates on new videos and flashcards throughout the year. Bye for now.